very important power. Don't abuse that. That's a large number too. Ugh. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I feel with that number. Everybody gets an extra die next round. I still failed at the critical thing, and we're going to explode. But whatever. All the yeah. narrative advantages. Yeah. Behold. So much narrative. Mm-hmm. You remember your weird space breather mouth soup thing. Yeah, that's probably going to be useful. What? Space breathing in mouth. Oh, yeah. Jay's really good at that. Mm -hmm. He's really good at space breathing and having a mouth. Sure. We'll go with that. That's exactly what I was talking about. Yeah, Orion's been here for like 20 minutes and hasn't updated their character sheet. Wow. I'm joking. I know you just you just got powers. It's yeah, okay. there's nothing to update. <laughs> it's, okay. Shh, it's okay. Jay's Matt Gray now, right? Yeah. If that's what okay. you want. That, that's going to change frequently throughout this game. It's important. It's an important character. It's an enduring character trait. What property can that change is- his body coloration when he'd like? Fantastic. <laughs> Uh, also, Whenever he's got a can of spray paint. Also, uh, even though the thing actually occurred last ta- last session, everyone can just heal up to full because things are going to happen that mean that obligations are a little bit out of the way. Well, that's good. Is that full anyway? Mm-hmm. No. No, 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 Aaron. He means full, full. Yeah. All the way. <laughs> oh. All the way. Wink. <laughs> there's no fucking winking involved. <laughs> oh Don't no. Now, there, there's winking now. Mm. This is what science has done. One sided winking. Okay, that's fair. Should install a shutter that goes over your eyes so you can All wink. Right. <laughs> let me just get, let me just get Aaron's character sheet. No, they sent me aperture. four minutes after this game began. It, it, it has uh, like a, like a film photography be... style aperture. God oh, man, damn aperture. it, Aaron! What it's the fuck? Aperture. It's literally like an arm that just moves a sheet of metal in front of your eye plate. <laughs> you see, you got a camp <laughs> on these sliders. Just a little tiny. Yeah, you, arm. S- you sent it to me forty minutes before I woke up. I know. I was ready to go. <laughs> like a nerd. Yes. And then you show up a minute late. Tisk tisk. I can forgive him for showing up late because I got my character sheet, goddammit. Oh, That's right. Yeah, I'm but... not the player who's holding him back right now. Mm-hmm. Neither am I. <laughs> Somehow it's not me. All right. It's always me. It's always Eric. Anyways. Anyways, you guys were on your way to Duro because of a forced smuggling operation, correct? Uh, you say forced, I say I fell right into our laps. Yes, right. it was an opportunity. An amazing opportunity to <laughs> to not be in a worse situation than what we're currently in. All right. It was an offer we couldn't refuse. Uh, yeah, true. It was pretty compelling. Because it was already on the ship. Mm-hmm. I mean, so yeah, we didn't have to spend time or you know resources loading it. That's a pretty compelling mm-hmm. argument. Anyways, it's and it was to, exactly what we wanted to ship anyway. Anyways, it's been about anyways. It was suggested that it would be about a four day trip to Duro from here, making you know the usual stops every now and again to make sure you're not being followed, which is I'm assume you're doing. Yes. Okay. I don't have a same question mark. All right, it's fine. Anyways, things are calm. Things are calm all the way up there. Three days of relatively easy and relaxing travel about you. But, while on route, you feel your ship give a sudden jolt and you hear the hyperdrive whine. You're not sure what just happened, but you know it can't be good. Uh-huh. You'd better check the Navi computer fast. You've got a bad feeling about this. And since Ryan is already in the cockpit, because he preempted me, you've noticed that the star lines are no longer streaking by. You've dropped into real space. This shouldn't happen. There are no planets near. There are no planets nearby. That as you turn your head, you see a gray wedge-shaped ship in the distance in combat with the battle-scarred frigate. This can't be good. What do you do? 
Um, Before everyone does anything, I'm going to need everyone to make a discipline check, please. All right. Well, yeah. All right, what's check. the willpower? It's three, the difficulty would be three purples, and I do believe it's willpower. Uh oh! I I I just increased this for this session too, and Rector's immediate oh, response is, "I'm fucking panicking." <laughs> Should probably determine the destiny oh. pool as well. Mm-hmm. I'll get Jay's that. shaken but not stirred. I'm, I'm 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 definitely glad I increased that so that I could be a, a part. Well, there of, you go, guys. I, I can be a part so, of the rest of the group. That's. <sighs> is that too strain, or should I hold on to that? Uh, everyone can take the strain for now. Okay. Yay, strain. Mm-hmm. Feel the strain. Oh, uh, I need to change my soak. All right, everyone, you're currently suffering from... Where is that thing about fear? Well, because as it so turns out, there is something There is something that would cause fear into the most... Ho- into the... Oh, come on. Yes, there we go. Good, good, yes, yes. Reveal yourself. Okay. There it is. There is a a thing. Do you not see it now? Oh, one of those. I I need to get the other one too because I've actually hidden like thousands of things behind the bat today. Yeah. It's like littered with like Easter eggs and shit. A wedge of space gray air. Yeah. No. You not see anything? I see it. Uh, I I see it. I was making a joke. All right. Their names. Yeah. Anyways, for the for the for the duration of the encounter, or basically when I say nuts, when I say we're done, everyone is going to be suffering one setback die to all their rolls. One setback die to all the rolls due to fear. Oh, even mm-hmm. Jay, even, even Jay? Jay, even Jay, because this, because right, because right now you've sort of been pulled into what appears to be the middle of a battle. Collapses back into protocol. Jordan speak. Okay. Now. What do you do? Anyway, is Get it... on the turrets just in case. Alright. I try to see if there's anything fucked with the hyperdrive or if we just got pulled out because of the right. mass ship. <laughs> Ragchar will look out the window and scream, Why the fuck do we stop? <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Go! <laughs> Alright. Uh, what? Okay. Chris, make me a mechanics check. Difficulty 2. Purple, please. And... Ryan, since you're the only one who really could see this, do you have knowledge education? Whatever, just roll knowledge education. Feeling it. Too purple. Too purple. Uh, the hyperdrive is, while not perfect condition, appears to be fully functional. That's good. This is not perfect. We just bought this thing, didn't we? Uh, hey. We bought it. No, we just repaired it. All right. You no, you realize you realize that the two ships fighting are a Nebulon B escort frigate and the Immobilizer 418 cruiser, also known colloquially as an interdictor cruiser. There's Basically, also Basically th- it's David against Goliath. Uh, right now there's various TIE fighters and Y Wings fighting amongst each other. And most assuredly the Imperial Interdictor is about twice the size of the of the uh, frigate. Wherever we go, it's always interdictor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But even so, but even so, even though the interdictor is, rel- is relatively the same, bigger than the uh, the frigate, the interdictor also doesn't have as many has about as as about as many guns as you would take on a normal frigate because it's it's designed for one task, not really fighting, you know. Mm. It's designed to pull things out of it's designed to pull things out of orbit and you know do spot inspections or you know basically pull things into the middle of a bunch of other other uh, Imperial ships. Right now, there's no other Imperial ships. Well, right. that's the important are, there, are there any ships near us? Uh, you are really darn close to what appears to be a growing, a pitched battle between a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff. I feel like it's a safe assumption that we're going to try to avoid this fight. I'm on board with that. Not being in the fight would be a good idea. Mm Mm-hmm. All right. All right, so I'm assuming you're you're going to try to escape from the battle. Yep. 
Yeah, All right. I think that's and I think that's fair. Jay will shoot at anything that tries to mess with us. All right. Do you want to that it's an interdictor out there? Yes. Anyways, anyways, as you begin making as you begin making your way towards the exiting the area at sublight speeds because your hyperdrive's not working, you hear you hear a broadcast over your ship's comm system. Attention, new vessel. This is the Alliance frigate. Adigan Sunrise. We are a medical frigate carrying victims from the Imperial, cla- Imperial attack on the Talsia colonies. We've managed to open a hole in the interdictor's defenses with our bombers, but they're getting torn up by those ties. Please help. Jay will um, actually sort of lean out of the uh, w- what do you call the area where guns are? The turret? Sure. And shouts, do we care? It's Rector, not rhetorical. Rector will actually yell out, What if the interdictor survives? Would the Imperials kill us for what we've seen? They might. Why would they kill us for seeing them fight a rebellion? The Empire has ways. Mysterious ways. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'd rack air on them more being a bunch of assholes, but that's just me. Yes. We're, we're a civilian ship. That's a military fight. Like <laughs> that looks. That medical ship almost looks civilian to me. At least that's how it sounded. They're part of the rebellion, though. All right, well, you're the pilot. You could always ask your spirit guy. I mean, all right. Well, as if as if they are. Uh... As if the Empire has already made decisions for you, two of what appears to be many dozens of TIE fighters break off and head towards you. And they don't look friendly. Uh, And the Rebellion's using all kinds of ships. It's reasonable they would assume any ship in the area is with the Rebellion right now. It's absolutely reasonable. Jay, do they have frowny faces painted on those TIE fighters? God said they didn't look very friendly. (laughs) <laughs> They're actually scowls. Ah! <laughs> I'm scowling nah. back. Actually, it's an Jay entire... would love to have one of those. <laughs> <laughs> an entire wing of TIE Fighters. That would be a Yeah, he would love to have cap. an entire wing of the TIE Fighters. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, I thought you meant a mouth that worked. Oh. Alright. Mm. Yeah, he'd love to have a scowl too. people. Then again, his face is kind of permanently set into a scowl. Mm-hmm. Let me see. Well, it looks like it's time for the Jack's Revenge to become colossal. <laughs> Size upgrade. Yeah, well... All right. Uh, where should the ship be placed? Well, let's just say this. Let's say you were right pretty much at the edge of the fight, and they almost immediately started toward- heading towards you. So they're roughly within. Let's put it like right here, and they're here. Let's just say that's. I don't know. Short range. Oh man. Well, let's begin. So close enough to shoot. <laughs> yes. Oh geez. So uh, we roll initiative normally, starting off starship combat like we would with regular combat. Everyone uh, rolls for initiative. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is there any time to act before they actually get within short range? Uh, sure, for maybe one thing. What are you thinking? Uh, activate the force defense power. Sure. All it does is commit the force die. Okay, cool. Alright, let's roll this dice. Okay, cool. TIE Fighter 2, you're doing good things. Skill check, check. Yeah, because they don't really have the pi- I don't have pilots for the roll, so I have to roll these individually. Uh, is that initiative then? Yes, I should have been Same rolling the initiative. Influence. Ooh. Well, I guess I'll heal that strain. Yeah. Now I need Although to actually, actually add myself. To the how many advantages does it take to notice something useful in the environment? A lot more than one. I had three. Well, you can. I think that's good enough. Okay, so then. Try- mm, what do you guys think? Some sort of 
useful space debris, maybe something explosive near the ties? Uh, if you could make it so that something explosive was near the TIE Fighters, that'd be pretty cool. I can't, I can't think of anything. Just get TIE 4 to, like, crash into the other four of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think If you hit the sort button, it should automate just all those. Just a little black hole right here in the middle of the fucking uh, I, space I, it. I, I think it. probably some sort of explosive wreckage near them that can be used to get extra damage on, like, one roll. Do, do we want more of us to go before them? Uh, a question to the players. Do we need more of us higher? That's a good question. We do have two turrets. Uh, then I'll take the one strain to bump myself up to two successes. I'll take the uh, I'll take the last initiative pass for these rounds. We do have two guns, if I remember correctly. Yes. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Uh, I believe you're using you use. Yes, you use your gunnery skill to shoot them? Yes. Yeah. I, I thought yeah, not only, not only do we have two guns, but the pilot also has to act frequently. Mm -hmm. I have to make sure we don't, you know, burst into fire. Yes. Now, there are a, quite a few different actions that can be done. Well, if you take your time. Let's just say everyone is starting out at speed two right now. You guys came out going pretty fast. For you guys, anyways. You were kind of going at, you know, light speed. Yeah, but TIE Fighters have a back speed of five. They have two engines. Yeah. We were from the Tachyon dimension. Those assholes. Looking forward to sending them spiraling out of control. A ship just like ours did that in the end of New Hope. Send Darth because... Vader tumbling into space. Because, you know, shooting off one of their wings totally affects the aerodynamics in space. <laughs> it probably does affect their directional thrusters. That's true. The thrusters are on the... the uh, it's, it's just and... your Darth Vader now. Good thing I don't get dizzy. <laughs> oh, so there aren't even maneuvering thrusters on those panels? No. Wow. The things are cheap as fuck. Well, no, these it, things it, these it, things were like imagined look, in the seventies. Hey, it, well, they're cheap as fuck, but they also require almost no maintenance compared it, to the X. Look, it worked for the same reason that the force works. Suspend your disbelief. Actually, Anyways, you guys get to go first. So, so should Jay shoot? Or should if you'd uh, like? I'm I'm uh, looking to take either the first or second uh, initiative slot of ours. To start evasive maneuvers. Go ahead and possibly. take the first one, then. Uh, as long as Jay shoots before some of them have gone, he can get that... Uh, speed 3 plus... You need to be at what, speed 3 plus to do evasive maneuvers. Quick strike. Yeah, and I still need to get up to speed, also. Mm -hmm. um, then if I'm taking the first one, it'll just be to go up to speed 3. Alright, and you can move in directions you want to right now, but whatever. Um, as far as maneuvers go... Oh, wait, accelerate's a maneuver, not an action. Mm -hmm. Evasive maneuvers is also an action. Not an action, it's a maneuver. It's a maneuver. Maneuver. So what are you going to do? Probably take those two maneuvers. Okay. I mean, I'm just guessing. It's not my call. Um, evasive maneuvers, it will upgrade the difficulty of... The first attack on the ship? The first attack against us, but also upgrades the difficulty of the first attack that we make. Because you're flying around like an idiot. Uh, um, where's the... Stupid reference sheet doesn't have the actions. Well, they're currently taking a lot more attacks each round than we are. Mm-hmm. It might be more worthwhile to preserve our attacks. The, the uh, actions are on page 233 of the core rulebook. Mm -hmm. Damage yeah, control. Unfortunately, we don't go fast enough for the one I want to be able to use right now. Gain the advantage? And yeah. we haven't suffered any damage. Mm -hmm. uh, There's not much to do at the moment. 
You can donate it to charity. Right. <laughs> so you're going faster and you're going evasive, yes? Yes. All right. Okay. And then one of the TIE fighters, this asshole, he's going to fly on in. And then he's going to try to shoot you. All right. Oh. They initiated. We we would know. We know that they're the ones who initiated. That's good. The difficulty of that will be upgraded twice. Okay, so it's currently a difficulty two, so that means upgraded. That means go to reds. Yep. Jay's battle cry is going to be, this was self-defense, I swear. Uh, it's, it's eight damage, minus three, so five hole trauma. Oh, fuck. It didn't have to be like this. Yeah, no, always combine your uh, battle cry with your alibi. Wait a minute, they're firing at, you're, they're firing at the four. Yeah, that's what you're doing. Alright. And now it's your guys' turn. Oh, uh, there'd, there'd also be, what is it, the setback for our shields that needs to be taken into account. Okay, I'll roll that. I'll roll that. It, it can't make it miss, but it could kill one of those advantages. Uh, one of those successes, rather. Damn. Good job, setback die. <laughs> <laughs> Making a difference. His rack also got it. I'm just asking for clarification. What? You were cutting You're, it out. Sorry. Are you also gunning up there? Well, seeing as how you said you were going to run around the ship with your head on fire, then I guess I am in one of the damn turret things. Okay. Had to make sure. All right. Well, it's flying time. Who's shooting? Or are you doing damage control? Go, Jay. Yeah, I, I guess Jay will... Uh shoost at uh, one of these ones back here yep. in order to get his uh, quick strike bonus. So, yeah. And can you aim with gunnery? Does it just follow normal shooting rules? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then he's going to take a double aim and suffer the two strain to do so. Yeah. And then shoost. So, Remember, yeah. you do have a setback because you're afraid. I'm aware. Thank you for reminding me, though. And uh, your check is upgraded once because of our evasive maneuvers. Right, okay. And it's normally difficulty one at short range? Um, what's their silhouette? Two, three? <sighs> Gotta go find these silhouette things. Uh, silhouette's three. So let's see. Their silhouette's so three. it'll be a difficulty two. Up to one red, one purple. Because you upgrade it. Sure. So there's there's All a chance right. for there's a chance for despairs. Yeah, this could be really fun. Or but it's not. It's just blandly successful. All right. Do these have crits? These guns? Yeah, they do. They have. They're, they're listed on the Jack's Revenge thing. Critical three. Oh, okay. Critical I, three. I, okay, I activate a critical. I don't get a character sheet pop up for Jack's Revenge. Yeah, neither do I. Really, I do. Well, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Try it yeah, now. like the Try drone is turned away. Now I do. Well, do you activate a critical? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, Aaron, you. Mm, that would be seven damage in a critical. Okay. Seven damage minus two is five. It's still going. Uh -huh. What does this do? The super vehicle serves one point of system strain. Okay. Free action to yell. What are these made out of? <laughs> and it looks Tie like it takes a second much. critical on account of going over the wound threshold. It's Maybe. not over. It's not it's over. No. Isn't it? It's oh, oh it's six. total six, six out of five. <laughs> it's oriented badly. <laughs> yes. It's fucking with your mind, I know the fraction. <laughs> Well, they're going to be going, and they're going to be peeling off because their pilot's a bitch. Good. Trying to escape, trying to... He's trying doing to this for pay. He's trying to escape out of here, and where he's promptly cut up by Y-Wings or the Nebulon B and pretty much killed. He was just here for the GI Bill, man. Mm-hmm. Kill he Steelers! Know break Every out. single one of you kill Steelers! <laughs> he thought he was joining the Chair Force. And he explodes in a big, fiery ball of ion gas. This was supposed to be a cushy job! <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right. It's your guys' turn again. Uh, I don't think you can actually handle the whole damage in this battle, Chris. Uh, I think damage control only does stuff for the system strain, which we... You can do, uh, okay. you can do, uh, damage control once for actual whole trauma. Okay. Actual yeah, once. Uh, Go ahead and please. do it right now. Uh, I'm kind of saving that for critical, because I can remove them. See, hold, tra no, tra hold, hold trauma is less than half the vehicle's hold trauma threshold. It would be an easy check. All right. Well, let me see here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you could Don't just, you uh, be sitting in the gunner's position and just yell for Rakchar to, uh, take over if you need to repair something. True. I probably should do that. But I'm going to attempt something else in the extra action section. Okay. Would our computer be capable to allow me to try to slice into one of the TIE fighters to make it kind of shitty? You can attempt that, but that is a significantly difficult task, so four purples. Ah, they have unsecured Wi-Fi! <laughs> I just want to try something other than gun shoot or patch thing. So let's Their check password was dark side. <laughs> <laughs> so it's four? <laughs> yeah, four purples. From the, uh... Yep, you're afraid. No, oh, I'm scared. Oh, no. you punk uh, uh -huh. I'm trying. I'm really scared. And that's a computer's check. Let's go to the skills. What can you do with... What can you do with... A, what can you do... No, not coercion. There we go. <laughs> they don't know that you tried to hack into that. <laughs> uh, but, 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 but. On the actual slice enemy system, I don't know if this requires a success, but it says I could disable a weapon system for one round with a triumph. But you didn't actually slice through them. With the Triumph, basically, they don't even know that you tried. Yeah, that Triumph would have to be something that benefits us without successfully slicing them. Got it. They don't know that you attempted to do this. You do have you do have three advantages, though, that will probably not get used because that was before the battle began, right? Oh, yeah, those ones. All right. I'll just hold those for you when something cool happens. All right. <laughs> So, I got a question. It's, it, is, it is currently your guys' turn. Well, it's currently Lissa's turn. She took the initiative slot. Alright. Well, is that, is that your action you wanted to do, Chris? Is that fine? My action was that, yeah. And then just right. move on. Alright, well then it's the three TIE fighters going one after the other. Yep. Are there any maneuvers that can be done? Hmm. Like what? I don't know. That's what I'm looking at. Like for Lissa to do? Yeah, I don't know. Like she can angle the deflector shields. Yeah, that's the only thing I really see. Reassign one point of defense from one zone to another. I'm assuming you're flying away from them. Yeah, I know there are some rules on who decides or you know which side they're firing at or how it's decided, but I don't remember it offhand. Don't worry about it right now. You're just fly. I'm assuming you're flying away from them because that's what you guys are trying to do. You're trying to fly away. Yeah. Right. Well, if you want to, Chris, you can use your action, you can use your maneuver to angle the deflector shields to put the shields that are facing the front of your ship to the back of the ship. That would increase that would our defenses right. yeah. on aft to two. Mm -hmm. Probably a good idea. All right. And then we have this We have this jokey joke meister coming in for, for a flyby. He's going to shoot. And we're upgrading the difficulty of this three times. Um, only for... No, none, actually. What do you mean? I thought... My thing only affects the first attack against us. The evasive maneuvers only affects the first one. And that's and, it. And okay, I, so I think the defense that we get only increase, like adds setback dice, right? Correct. Yeah. Okay. No, let's do setback die. Oh. He ever shoots you. He ever shoots his shot, and you know, pushes the tie, pushes those A twin ion engines a little too hard. And then these guys are going to come in and attempt to do much the same thing. Don't do it. They're attempting to do it. Action economy. Mhm. Mm Let me select them, game. There we go. Yes, that's good. <laughs> Like, oh, well, the good you did. All right. Those setback dice are actually hurting them. Yay. And 
then the last guy, he's he thinks he thinks he's smart too because he's gonna do the exact same thing. My God, if everyone tries the same thing, it'll obviously work in the eventually, right? Yes. They just have no imagination. They just copy each other. Oh well, he doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't burn out his engines though. He's learned. Hmm. Mm, and he's going to pass an advantage to the next TIE fighter that goes. Right. And then back to the top of the order. All right. Uh, t- uh, maneuver to aim and an action to shoot at TIE fighter 2. I got a boost and a setback. Difficulty is 2. Using my two ability dice, that is a no. Uh, so I will use my advantage to think long and hard about my life choices and then... Uh, <laughs> Kick that to the next player character to act. Mm-hmm. I end my turn. And okay, we go back to the top of the order now. So should Jay shoot first, or should Lana pilot first? Uh, we Jay should probably shoot first. Right? Yeah, you should shoot first. So that you can then take evasive maneuvers without it affecting him? Correct. 